uh, recently uh, established the Health Innovation Through Promotion and Practice Collaborative, or HIP is the uh, acronym, and she joins me now online too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Peter. Well, you have an interesting event coming up tomorrow night that I wanted uh, to let people know about. I just saw it uh, when I came in this afternoon, but uh, I think this is something that uh, many people would have a great deal of interest in. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's really the it's the inaugural uh, HKR, which is uh, Human Genetics and Recreation. There's our speaker series, and it's the first one, and so we're really excited and privileged to be able to talk um, and share our experiences, but also to talk a little bit about the HIP. And uh, the lecture is sponsored by the uh, Joyce o o sorry, o Doherty Fund? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. familiar with that. Can you just uh, tell us what that is, first of all? Yeah, she, uh, she was actually um, a, a private donor who wanted um, to do something within the department and uh, within the faculty, and so she donated some money, and this was something that, um, that was inspired by her, by her donation, to start a speaker series about the work that we do here at HKR, um, but also more broadly about health promotion, so really about health and kind of the research that's being done to promote health within community, but also um, within here, the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, we never tire of saying that the, the best medicine is the preventative kind, and yeah. uh, I guess this is uh, sort of what we're talking about. Give us a rundown of the sorts of topics we're going to be uh, discussing tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night. So uh, basically, uh, Dr. McGowan and myself are going to mm -hmm. be sharing our own research, and then also the story about how we've brought our kind of areas of research together to start a whole new area of research, um, and how the HIP was born, our kind of our, this collaborative, where we're really trying to kind of reach out and make our research uh, more community-based, but also something that's accessible to everyone. Um, and so we'll be talking, so uh, Dr. McGowan will be talking about her work in uh, physical activity promotion, as well as she's really focused on cancer prevention um, and, and promoting uh, physical activity within cancer, um, within cancer populations. So she'll be talking about her work in that field. Then I'm going to actually talk a little bit about my work around health education and how we conceptualize um, ideas of health and how ideas of health change. And actually, my more kind of my more recent work has focused on health-related stigmas. So, our kind of the stigmas and the ways that we present health within society and how that really informs our ideas of health, um, and particularly around. Um, ideas about obesity um, and uh, on the other spectrum, eating disorders. So this, we have these body ideals within society and how we need to start thinking critically about them and how it's really impacting us in a negative way, our ideas about, um, again, this ideal body weight um, within society. So I'll be sharing my work about that. Well, it's a tall order, too, because, of course, you're <laughs> up against all of the popular media images that are everywhere and uh, it's no wonder that kids get sort of locked in and stuck in this sort of uh, ever you know denigrating spiral uh, thinking that they're not uh, not not right or not up to scratch or not who they want to be uh, that's a very difficult thing to turn around it's a, it's a very difficult thing and i mean in so i'm looking actually at uh, doing studies within school settings but also um, within healthcare settings um, and kind of society more general i'm actually uh, doing some collaborative work with uh, uh, the Canadian Obesity ne Network, because they also recognize that the way that we've talked about obesity and bodies in general, um, how we equate it with, with weight, that we need to start kind of rethinking how we teach about it, how we teach about bodies and how we teach about obesity. Yeah, healthy doesn't always look the same, does it? No, it comes in many shapes and, uh, shapes and sizes. <laughs> All right, that's, well, that's a great place to start there. And that's yeah. a great name, Hip to be Healthy. You bet. Is the title on it, and uh, it's tomorrow night. 7 o'clock, and it's in the Phys Ed building, 2001. Yep. Easy to remember, and parking is available in lot 1A. That's always a thing for people going to something at Mund. They're always worried about where they're going to leave their car. So 1A, and uh, get there for 7 o'clock. And I, I think this is something that people are more and more uh, keen to know as much as they, as they can about because uh, we're conscious now. We know that... Uh, we are susceptible to so many things. I mean, uh, I don't know what's going on with the environment or if it's our diet or what, but we are all in danger of not being healthy. So I guess whatever we can forearm ourselves with is uh, 
<laughs> more the merrier. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I, th I mean, that's very much the message that both uh, Dr. Cam uh, Dr. McGowan and I want to leave, is that it's a really complex issue, um, but if we, you know, start the conversation and start talking about, and in particular our two different areas, um, I think, I mean, we've brought them together to start looking at how we stigmatize cancer um, and how cancer is perceived within, within uh, not only cancer patients, but also more broadly within society. So, again, it's an exciting new area of research that hasn't been looked at a lot, um, but we'll talk a little bit about that as well. But it's a very complex um, health complex. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah. You're both errands. Did you to toss around some ideas of errand <laughs> squared or anything like that when you're... <laughs> oh, there's, there's lots of things being tossed around at uh, HKI. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, good on you for this, and uh, I'll uh, plug it again a couple of more times, but it's on Fantastic. Twitter there, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be well attended. Uh, great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Dr. Aaron Cameron, and again, that is 7 o'clock tomorrow night at uh, the Phys Ed building, room 2001. Uh, check it out. It's certainly going to be, I think, uh, very insightful to uh, hear what they're talking about. Um, it is true that uh, you don't have to aim for a certain look. It's about other factors uh, if you're looking to be truly healthy.